How you doing? I'm still going. Still going strong. Yes, you are, sir. Good looking bike. Hey, thanks. I just picked it up yesterday. Did you? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I've uh, I've been riding a 1996 giant mountain bike. Oh yeah. Yeah, I started commuting to work on a bike about two years ago. Yeah. And this was my uh, this was my present. Awesome. I don't know if I'll commute on this or if this will just be my weekend bike, but I'm loving it so far. I bet. It's such a world of difference. What component you got on it? Uh, it's just a 105, but it's the yeah. hydraulic. Oh. Uh, the new hydraulic 105s. Awesome. Yeah, the brakes are... I don't know if they're much better than rim brakes in this weather, but I, uh, I have a... you fast. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I... I oh, great. I uh, I have them on a mountain bike that I ride, yeah. and have loved them there. But yeah, man, this day turned out wonderful after the last couple days. Yeah. Yes, it is. Came out with a group of friends. Guy right there in front of us is a coworker of mine. I got him into cycling a little over a year ago. Awesome. We all uh, we all started riding bikes to help lose weight. I was when I started, I was about 231 pounds, and or sorry, 321 pounds. Wow. And he was about 300. Wow. And we each lost a ton. I mean, I got all the way down to 160 at one point. Wow. And just decided, no, that's too skinny. Yeah. I don't feel good at 160, so yeah. started eating a little bit more. But world of difference. Yeah. I was up to 230 when I started. Wow, yeah. I'm down to 170 now. Yeah, it feels great though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, my choice was either this or a synapse like you've got. I really like the endurance geometry. Yeah. But uh, this year, Giant changed things up with their carbon bikes, and for the same price as the aluminum synapse, I could get this one. Awesome. And I thought, man, I, I just need to go carbon. It has the hydraulic brakes. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I had the aluminum synapse first, and then I. Uh, Got hit coming off four feet. Oh wow! Head on with the truck. Oh man! But I lifted a no broken bone and a and a, uh, Pandale had a crash policy. So crashed it. He got 30% off on the new one. So I got 30% off on this one. Nice. Went to the car fire. Yeah. Man, that, that's scary to, yeah. whew, but you live through it. Yeah. That's the most important the part. still has a plan for me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I've, I've not had too many close calls, thankfully. Yeah. But, uh. I broke my uh, femur in October. Where the tree roots went underneath the road and raised the road up. Yeah. I hit that and it turned my wheel. Oh, just went over the handlebars? Yeah. Ouch. I guess, I don't remember much. Yeah, I, yeah. I assume the same is true for the uh, head-on with the truck. Yeah, I remember that one. Though. Oh, really? Yeah. I remember flying over the top of the cab. <laughs> Better than through the windshield though, yeah. right? Yeah. Where do you guys work? Uh, in Spanish. Okay. At a uh, dietary supplement manufacturer called Western Botanicals. Oh, what for a butch? Uh, he is uh, uh, not holistic. Oh. Uh, but, but I know Butch. Yeah. Yeah, he worked for Dr. Christopher's. Yeah. And then when he took over the company, they changed their name. Yeah. Yeah. The owner of my company is actually riding up ahead too. Oh. He's a he was a huge cyclist, and then our company moved out from uh, California. A little over 10 years ago and when he moved out he kind of got out of it well then when i started riding 
he wanted to start riding again. So we uh, kind of got this little group of guys from work that all go. And he's, I don't know if you saw it, he's on the De Rosa. Yeah, I think so. But uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's been through some things too. He's got a pacemaker and things like that yeah. after years of stress. But uh, yeah, he even uh, at work, cause so many guys started riding their bikes to work. He put in a, uh, a shed for us all to park in. Awesome. I had sold my truck and I just commute 100% by bike. Snow, rain, doesn't matter. Wow. So for me, it's great not to have my bike covered in snow at the end of the yeah. day. We had one guy with us still at the end. I'm not seeing him anymore though. Oh. Yeah, I was an alcoholic for 35 years. Oh really? I didn't want to go around the block unless I had a car to drive. Yeah. Now, Lord save me. That's awesome. So, a missionary in the LDS 12 step addiction recovery meeting. Helped uh, get you on the right path. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how those things happen. Calls out to you. Yeah. Um, down Canyon Road, about where the 1400 is, if you know where that is. Yeah. Ooh, got chilly in here. Yeah, when the sun goes behind me. Shade is cool. I got this up in uh, ta uh, Taylor's Bike Shop in Provo. Oh, alright. Yeah, I, uh, I went up to go actually look at bikes with my boss, and I had been eyeballing this bike online, and they didn't have this color, and I really wanted this color. Yeah. And then when I got there to look at the bikes with my boss, this bike was sitting on the showroom floor. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, well, that kind of makes the decision a little easier. <laughs> hey, it's good talking to you. Good talking to you. Have a great day. Hey, you too, sir. You're doing alright till here. That guy yeah. got hit head on by a truck. Oh, geez.
riding his bike? Yeah. Wow. And I got T-bone on a bike. I'm right, six years old. Yeah, this happened to him just a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Coming down. I've had a few years ago. Coming down, uh, I think he said the uh, Alpine Loop. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't remember this hill. I do. Where are you at up front? Middle. Middle and front. Second lowest in the back. Second uh, You're almost at the top. Huh? You're almost at the top. Look at that view though. Oh, I know. There you go. Man, Randy's really keeping up there. I know. I thought for a minute I was gonna catch him, but then... Is that him right there? Yeah, um, I think maybe one. It looks like him. The third one of those three? Yeah, the one hunched over? Yeah. On this hill, I could tell about a fifth of the way into it. I was gaining on him. And then I realized where I was on the next fifth. And I was like, oh, now I'm not. <laughs> now I'm going backwards. And I looked right behind me right before it. And I couldn't even see you. I said, watch it. 30 fucking seconds. That motherfucker's gonna come. Pee Wee Herman right by me. Not even breathing. Instead of 30 seconds, I'll give it 20 seconds. Game by. Motherfucker. I'm trying to have my heart do the work. Yeah. Save some legs, but. You gotta go back and forth, man. Back and forth. Get up out of your saddle, put it on your, your legs, go to harder gear. There you go. There you go. Give your heart a break. Heart and then when you're <laughs> then when the burn starts happening you can't go with the uh, this in my mouth. Uh, For like ten minutes, can't chew them over. Help if I had teeth. A little bit. Just gumming it to death. I have teeth. I just don't have good bottom teeth. Bottom back molars. Yeah. The teeth you had really chew with. I can bite stuff. I just can't chew it. These blind corners scare me. Okay, on your left. Oh, you thank doing? you. Good, you? Good. I didn't get your name. Steve. Steve. Steve, I'm James McCasey. Right. This is Ryan, Ryan Jensen. Hi, Ryan. Hello. Thank you. So, I'm trying to figure out if on about mile 30, 35, when Randy decides he's spent, when we catch him, he thinks we're just gonna stick with him at that point. Like, ah, oh, nah, homie. Nah. Yes, sir. Come on, boss. Get you. 